But silver halides? Oh yeah, they react big time. Silver halides are just silver combined with halogens, the crew you'll spot on the periodic table. To make this plate light sensitive, he rigs up a little chemistry box with, of all things, a whiskey dispenser at the bottom. That's the gateway to turning plain silver into a light catcher. Step 1. Drop a petri dish inside and add iodine. He's already shown how to whip up iodine from tincture of iodine, just oxidize it with sodium hypochlorite in an acidic medium. The iodine vapors rise, kiss the silver, and within minutes you've got a thin layer of silver iodide. Next stop, bromine. Also DIY'd earlier from sodium bromide and nitric acid. That vapor reacts the same way, leaving silver bromide behind. Finally, the plate takes one more pass through iodine. And now the thing's officially locked and loaded. Time to take the shot. Here's the magic. When light slams into those silver halides, metallic silver starts forming. Brighter parts of the image get blasted with more photons, stacking up more silver, so those spots come out lighter. To reveal the picture, he heats up mineral oil to around 195 degrees Fahrenheit and submerges that whiskey dispenser box in it. Then comes the mercury. The plate, after exposure, is bathed in mercury vapors that fuse with the silver, making the bright parts shine. More silver, more glow. But there's still leftover halides hanging out on the surface. If you leave them there, they'll stain the image later. The fix. A sodium thiosulfate bath. It wipes the plate clean. And if you're feeling fancy or just rolling in cash, you can gild the portrait with a gold solution for a warm, golden tint. This entire process was cooked up in the 1800s by Louis Daguerre, the guy who basically dropped the world's first viral camera hack.